And welcome back everyone, welcome back to some Final Fantasy VI. Mage, Mage, you may be asking, why, 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 why are we back in Mount Zozo? You might not even know that that's where we are right now. It's kind of just a generic looking cave, but that is indeed where we are. You may remember this place. This was where we did the whole Cyan um, quest. Well, yeah, I, the reason I'm back here the reason I ran all the way back here through Zozo and, you know, through um, through most of this area, in fact, is because I forgot to do something stupidly. I completely forgot to press this switch. Because there's a chest up there, a very suspicious looking chest, and I was like, you know what? I've defeated uh, how many, like five of the dragons. And I was thinking, but I think there's only two left in the final dungeon, so I must have missed one somewhere. Well, yes, I in fact missed the first dragon you're supposed to encounter, believe it or not. So, we're gonna press this switch, and, hey presto, a dragon appears, and he's flying about like a absolute crazy son of a hoe, and we need to get him to run into us so we can fight him. Is he gonna run into us? There we go! There we go! The Storm Dragon. Yes. And we- oh, we get a preemptive? What? Even though he ran into us? Well, he ran into us? Weird. Right, two Ultimas. Yeah, this guy's uh, probably one of the stronger dragons. Even though you do- you, cu you could fight him f first out of all of them. Which is really crazy. But um, we're gonna take him on now. We don't have to, of course, but there is a very good reason I want to kill all the dragons. Um, Celeste, you just attack it. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot easier now, obviously, than when we could have initially fought this guy, because we're so powerful. We have so much good magic and shit like that. Um, still want to be a little bit careful. But I can't see this guy being too much of a challenge, although I wouldn't want him to be killing Sabin, thanks very much. Um, but this is pretty much a wind-based dragon, as you can see he's using arrow. Which, uh, oh, has in fact killed Sabin, wonderful. Yeah, this guy's pretty tough. <clears throat> but down he goes, and unfortunately I think Sabin's gonna have missed out on the glorious uh, magic points. I'm not sure we, we don't get XP for these, do we? No, we don't. Just 10 magic points. We got some more force armor. Which um, leaves us with two dragons left. And yes, the two dragons that do remain are, in fact, in Kefka's tower. So we don't have to worry about any more of those for now. Um, might as well use the save point while we're here to use a tent. Where we briefly transform into a tree, <laughs> which was weird. Uh, but yeah, so that was something that was bugging me. I was like, which dragon have I missed? I was looking through the list online and I was like, wait, I could have sworn I fought the storm dragon, but I guess I didn't. Completely missed it. So there we go. Uh, hopefully, can I warp out of here, please? Thank the Lord I can. Because I think what we're going to do now because there's, there's really not much left to do, honestly. Like, there's no more huge secret areas to find, at least not in this version of the game. So, we're going to try and find Death Gaze, which could take us a very, 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 very long time. Unless we get lucky, of course. Unless we get super lucky. Now, it just pretty much involves us flying about until we find him, until we run over the specific spot on the world map where he could be. So really, you, you want to do it, if you want to find him relatively reliably, then you just got to sort of go in a grid. You know, go up straight, turn a little bit, like, a little bit. It's kind of tricky to do, though. Like, we're going in a sort of a diagonal pat there, pattern there, so we, we might be missing him. It could take me a while, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So, wish me luck. 
I really hope I can find him relatively quickly. The problem is, you it's very tempting to just sort of go randomly as well, because you, you never know your luck, but it's really probably not the most efficient way of finding this thing. And I think I'm actually just, I keep on going over the same things over and over. Which is, that's not going to help at all. Oh my god, I'm really not doing a very good job of this, you know. It's, it's hard to make the airship go straight. Alright, let's try that one. So, I won't speed this up, I'm just going to cut to when I do find him. So, I may be, um... <laughs> maybe if... <laughs> like a good 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Really don't know how long this is going to take. Wish me luck! Okay, this is Death Gaze. Doom Gaze, sorry, whatever. He's called, he should be called Death Gaze, but we found him. He usually starts off with level 5 Doom, so luckily that didn't affect any of us. And... We are in the midst of attacking him. Now, he may run though. He may run. He likes to do that a lot. And if he does that, that's gonna suck. And that sucks even more because he killed Sabin, who was just about to unleash hell on him. Can we steal from him? Not sure. But there is a chance. There is a chance he, he will run away. And then you'll have to find him all over again. It sucks. It's annoying, but he doesn't have that much HP, I don't think. Right, he doesn't have anything to steal. Go for another Ultima, let's get Sabin back. And fingers crossed we can get this guy, because there is a super nice reward. Um, if you don't have Ultima, apparently the best sort of spells to use are Holy and Fire spells. I'm surprised we've managed to keep him in the fight this long, honestly. Hopefully we can get another few Ultimas off. He's using Ice 3. That's probably going to kill Sabin again. Yep. Never mind. Never mind, Sabin. What I could have done... Oh, we've, we've beaten him! Wow, we've beaten him. Okay. Yeah, we were lucky he didn't try to run away there. And, um, actually... <laughs> I used a bit of the old emulator speed up to uh, to find him quicker, and I, I it was going the game was going that fast that I missed the opening round of his level five doom. So I apologize, but we beat him, and we get a piece of magicite from uh, his mouth. And you know what? It's my favorite freaking Esper ever, Bahamut. Yes, we have the King of Dragons at our disposal, guys. Let's check him out, shall we? And let's revive Sabin. We have Bahamut. Wow. That actually... I mean, I didn't... I, I kind of forgot that I could do the speed-up thing, and that really helped find him super fast. So, I <laughs> expected this video to be a lot longer right now. It's probably only like five minutes, which is crazy. But, um... Uh, let's check... Bahamut's spells. Now, according to this menu, I'm still missing quite a few espers. I'm not sure where they are. I know where one of them is. Well, I know how to get one of them, and it involves killing all of the dragons. But I'm going to have to look up where the others are. But yes, Bahamut can teach the flare spell, which is appropriate because his special ability has always been Mega Flare. And at level up increases HP by 50%, or at least the HP you would have gained at level up, not your entire HP, because that would be ridiculous. But, um, Flare times 2, that's, that's not a bad learn rate, really, for a spell as good as Flare. But I'm not sure if I want to give that to anyone just yet. I'd rather have Celestial in that. Um, have you learned all of that stuff? Sabin? Oh, you have. Okay, cool. We'll give, um, we'll give Sabin Bahamut. Just for the lols. Very nice. Okay, so, yeah, I don't actually know what to do next. I expected this to take most of the recording session, I'll be honest. Or at least most of my time. Um, I will have to think of something. I mean, we could go to the Coliseum and, and bet some random stuff. There is, um, ah, there is actually a forest we could visit. Now that I think about it. 
that has some pretty strong enemies. And I will be doing some grinding before I approach Kefka's tower. Because I, I do want to be as powerful as possible before I do that. But I think if we head over towards the Velt... If we go to... I think it could be... No, that's Triangle Island. Is this the Velt? I think this might be the forest I'm thinking of. Unless... Wow, this is, this is the Velt, so... I think, yeah, there's no forest here, so it must be this one. I think it's referred to as Dinosaur Forest. But there's some super powerful enemies in here, so I want to just see if we can take them on. But um, I am going to save before I do that, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have saved, and you know what? I quickly looked up to see if I was missing any espers. I don't think I am, other than the one that I know I'm going to get in Kefka's Tower for killing all the dragons. Uh, I believe... I may have been getting confused with the Game Boy Advance version of the game, where they added a few more, like uh, Leviathan and Cactua, because they aren't actually in this um, version of the game. So, I think, obviously, we had Odin, so he kind of counts, even though we don't have him anymore. Uh, we were going to get one in Kefka's Tower, and we'd also... We could have had Ragnarok as an Esper, which I kind of forgot about, so... I think that's probably it. I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I reckon I'm going to end up with all the Espers in the game that I can get in this particular playthrough anyway, so... Now that I don't need to worry about that, let's venture into this forest and see what we can find. Hopefully some pretty strong enemies that we can kill and get tons of XP. A Tyrannosaur. Now are these the enemies I'm thinking of? It also sucks pretty, pretty big dick that we're in a pincer attack like this, but we're going to try and steal. Couldn't steal, so they do have something. I wonder what they have. Oh, and randomly casting ultimate, uh, ultimate, holy, very nice. And boom rush. All of the epilepsy. Uh, just finish this off. I don't know if this is indeed the enemy I'm thinking of. Because of translation differences? Oh, wow. That is a lot of XP. It might be the enemy I'm thinking of. I mean, according to uh, the internet, it's called a Brachiosaur, but it could it could just be a different dinosaur, or that could have been the enemy. I don't know. We're just going to keep fighting in here. Lock gained a level, though. That is pretty good XP regardless. So, yeah, we're going to stick around these parts for a while. Make sure everyone's healed up constantly, though. And see what else we can find here. There's also something I want to go over with the character of Gogo, -Go, which I didn't... Um, either I forgot or I didn't know. So I'll show that off soon as well, once we've um, completed our grinding here. Because I do think, even if I... I'm not sure if I want to use Gogo -Go or not, but I definitely want to show off one of his cooler aspects. Um... But I think this might be my final party. I think only Locke is... Locke might be the only one that I replace with someone else, and I'm not sure if it's going to be Gogo -Go or Cyan or Edgar. I really haven't decided yet, but it's probably just going to be Locke. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'm not... Um, I'm not too worried about it. Meteor, yeah, this, th these are the enemies. They've got to be. Meteor's going to really sting. Ouch. That's not cool, dude. Oh, in fact, I really didn't need to do two Cure Threes, did I? <laughs> Never mind. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. I mean, if two of them used Meteor, like one after the other, then I'd probably be wiped out. Which would really suck. Oh my lord! Oh my lord. Kill them. Kill them now. Kill them fast. Jesus H. Christ. Don't kill Terra. Okay, nicely blocked, Celeste. Nicely blocked. 
Holy shit. I think we should be casting some Life 3, possibly. <laughs> Holy balls, they hit hard. These are definitely the enemies I was thinking of. And Celeste and Terra are gonna get a fuckload of XP. Look at that. Mother of God. We are gonna be getting some levels, guys. We are gonna be getting some levels, but I really, really need to be more careful with um, dying so much. I think we're probably gonna have to at least try and cast Life 3 on some of us, just in case. But um, I reckon I'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing this, chaps. So you'll join me next time, well, not next time, but in a minute, or in a second, when I should be uh, considerably higher level, I'm going to try at least get into the 50s. Maybe not with everyone, but um, it'll give us a nice boost. So I will be right back. Well, 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 guess I was wrong. We have just found the Brachasaur. I've paused the game because he's about to use a, an ability called Disaster, which I'm very scared of. But yeah, we found um, we found a different enemy, so I guess it's just super rare. I've fought a bunch of Tyrannosaurs and only just now come across this guy. So let's see how tough he is. See if we can steal. Um, oh god. Okay, well that was nasty. Good job we have some ribbons. Oh, this could be tough. Sabin. Ugh, that's annoying having you confused. That really is. Okay, Ultimas. Yeah, our grinding is going pretty well. Our gr uh, grinding is going pretty well. Life 3 on Sabin, I think. Um, Celeste is like level 52. We've learned the quick spell. And I've swapped Bahamut over to Celeste. So she's learning Flare now. Sabin's learned Flare. And I just pray that we can win this fight and see how much XP we get. Now, this thing apparently can drop a really cool relic, too. Oh, don't be sneezing people away. No. No, don't be doing that. Oh, we stole a ribbon. Holy fuck. That is fantastic. All right, Ultimas, Ultimas, please, Terra, please kill it. Please kill it. Please. No. No. No, this is bad. This is very bad. Come on, Terra, come back to me, please. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, boy. Disaster. Oh, please don't affect it. Oh, she blocked it. Good. Good. Right. Magic life to Sabin. Oh, my lord. Ultimas. Please let me get an ultima off or two. Please, please, please. Holy shit, dude. That thing isn't any joke. Um, well, good thing I did I did do a save state to Runeo. So I'm going to quickly load that. And we're going to try again. Okay, let's see if we can do any better this time. Oh my lord. I want to steal another ribbon though. Oh, of course, Sabin gets confused. Let's try and remedy that immediately. Uh, Ultimas. We will kill this thing. We will do it. I really want to see what kind of XP we get. Um, let's get some life threes on the go. Sabin's probably going to die soon. Oh, crap. Are you serious? I think that's going to kill us. Oh my god, dude. I re you know what? I, I think I just need Celeste with life three. Okay, we're gonna try that again. All right, we're gonna try that one more time. We will be we will beat this thing. I swear. I am cheesing it a little bit though, with the save states. But um, it just saves me finding this thing again. All right, life three, Sabin. Okay. Let's have Celeste just attack. Do I have life three with? Um, I do have it with Terra. Good. Let's get that cast on everyone. Especially Terra, because she's going to be the main damage dealer. Thank you, Sabin, for helping out there, Mr. Imp. And a life three on Celeste. Oh, boy. Celeste currently has the EXP egg as well, so she's been leveling really quickly. 
Um, crap. Can I do a green sherry, please? Or just a remedy on Sabin? Okay, so if we die now, we should come back. Ugh, why do you have to... What are you doing? What? Seriously. Seriously. You're gonna just completely... Wow. I don't know if I can beat this thing. I really want to, though. I want to keep on trying. I want to keep on trying, guys, although it just might not be possible currently with our party setup. I don't know. Maybe if we just unload onto it. Let's try... Oh, this really isn't gonna work, is it? Um... Do I have remedy? Let's just use Pearl. Let's use an Ultima with Celeste. I mean, we could try and... I wonder if X-Zone would work. Probably not. I'm hoping three Ultimas would be enough, and I hope we can get them off before he uses Meteor again. What a bastard. What a bastard. Come on, guys. We can do this. do 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 do, -do. Nicely blocked. Lucky boy. I would like to steal another ribbon, but I don't know. Maybe we wouldn't even use it. I really don't know. Our relic slots are pretty full right now. Is this going to be enough to kill it? God knows how much health it's got. It's still not dead. That's crazy. And there goes Sabin. Oh boy. Okay, we might do this. We might do this. Yes, we beat it. Ah, oh, Sabin missed out on the XP. That is a lot of XP. Not as much as I would have thought, though, for how tough it is. Ten magic points, though. Holy crap. So Celeste is now, what, level 53? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm happy just fighting the Tyrannosaurs. Honestly, they're a lot easier. Um, by a hell of a lot, actually. <laughs> Even though they're not the easiest of things, we, we've not been dying to them, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to carry on my grinding. What I'm going to have to do as well is level up some of our other characters. Because I know for the final dungeon we're going to be uh, having to rely on three parties of four to get through the place, and each party is going to have its own boss fights, so you really can't get away with ignoring uh, the rest of your party members like you can in other Final Fantasies. So, yeah, that could it could take me a while to get these levels. So, this might be a shorter video. I might have to end it here, and you'll join me next video when hopefully I'll be in uh, good enough condition to crack on with um, the end game, the final dungeon, Kefka's Tower. I reckon we're going to do it next time. I think there's nothing else for me to do, uh, although please let me know in the comments if there's anything you reckon I've missed. Um, but bear in mind, this is the uh, SNES version, so there's no extra espers to grab like there is in the Game Boy Advance version. Uh, sadly, but uh, but yeah, thank you for watching guys, and again, I'm sorry this is a shorter video, but there really isn't too much I want to do. I don't want to start off the, you know, final dungeon in this video. I want that to be its own separate thing, and we do have a lot of leveling to do. So, thanks for watching everyone. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one, when we will infiltrate... <clears throat> oh my god. Where we will cough during the outro of the video where we will take on Kefka's final lair. Ta-ta for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.